Hi, Caroline Carney here at Powell Lane Arts, and I'm standing with Elizabeth Rundquist, who is one of the artists who will be in our Change Lanes uh, show, which runs from September to November 20th. Uh, Elizabeth, could you introduce us to your piece? Sure. Um, this is called A ampersand V, and it's, um, well, it's about two of my great-granddaughters, and these are poppies, and... Um, my first great granddaughters, and um, there's a lot of emotion in it. I'm a very emotional, intuitive painter, but I'm always paying attention to composition as well. They're done with um, the painting is done with water soluble oils, which are fabulous to work with. And if anybody's worked with regular oils, there's a lot of cleanup and solvents. The water soluble is just water, and you wash it, and you can thin it with water, and it's as I said, fabulous to work with. So I get a lot of pleasure out of choosing the colors. And when I work, I choose four or five colors. Um, right now I'm in love with raw umber and burnt umber and raw umber, and I mix it with other colors. And um, I'm here with the red and um, uh, Quinnis syndrome, I can hardly say it, blue. Love, love that. Love that word, right? Yeah. right? Quinnis syndrome. Quinnis syndrome. <laughs> That's a, a modern color, and so I have a good time mixing it. And the, the experience of medi of fixing the colors, of mixing the colors, is a meditative experience too. And then I get going, and then I have a big brush that's this big. So this is my big brush, and <laughs> it's kind of well, almost a signature thing. I don't always use it, but I do use a big gesture. And then I do move around, and I do some calligraphy, maybe, and. Well, and I see that you, yeah. there's a lot of, uh, hopefully the video will capture this, but we always encourage you to come see this in person as well. Um, there's a lot of texture here. Yes. So what's, uh, so you're clearly playing with not just the mixing of colors and the layering of colors, but you're also playing with texture. Absolutely. Um, how did you get started on that? How do you approach, do you do that, do you have that in mind? You said you're intuitive. Yeah. How, how do you kind of approach the canvas? I approach the canvas. If you've ever cross country skied and it's, the snow has no fallen and nobody else has been there, it's fabulous. And the canvas is kind of like that. I love that. Yeah. Um, and so that's how I approach it. And I really don't know. I have a lot of art supplies. I could, I have a lot of art supplies. And they all kind of come to hand when I need them magically. Oh, oh, here's this. Of course <laughs> I'll use this. And so I don't plan. I don't plan what I'm using except the colors that I start with and the size of the canvas. And there's some idea. I don't, I didn't know I was going to paint this painting mm -hmm. until it, this is how it turned out. Yeah. Well, and I think something like I find it very interesting that you work with such a limited palette and are able to get such, I mean, obviously you're mixing and juxtapositioning and things, but this is a colorful piece. Yes. I love that these are poppies because this says with the verdant greens and the bright yellows and even the way the white is hitting almost like water sitting atop or in the atmosphere, it's very atmospheric. Yeah. Um, and you can feel that in the piece, um, but it's amazing the amount of color you get from five colors to start. It is amazing. It, it is totally amazing. And sometimes I might add another color. Um, I, I don't think I did here. Um, you no, know, I mixed. I mixed the colors. Yep, this is all the original five. And sometimes, though, I do have some oil sticks and I'll go slash, slash, slash. But I didn't here. That's why oil sticks are great. Yeah. Because you can add them at any time just to tighten it up. Tighten it up or liven it up. Yeah. Or, or just the... There's something about me that I need to make a big gesture. Yeah. And so I do. So here's the big gesture. Would you say that primarily you focus on, I mean, you obviously are focusing on color too, but do you focus primarily on gesture because you're so intuitive? No, no, I don't. I know that I'm balancing back and forth between composition and um, application of paint all the time. Okay. All the time. Yeah. That totally makes sense. Um, I know you said you love using the big brush. Yeah. Do you, I know you limit your palette, but do you limit the brushes or you use whatever brush you want? Whatever brush I want. I have a love it. batch of blush, brushes and they sit in a tub of 
oil. <laughs> so I have to take them out of the tub of oil so they're always gone and wipe them off. And I think, oh, why don't I do, why am I doing this? But I keep on doing it anyway. And um, Well, now it's your thing. And I don't know, maybe for now, for now, it may not, it may, may not re retain, much. I don't know, maybe, maybe yes, maybe no, I don't know. But then, I, then when I think I finished the painting, I step back and go back and forth for a few days and look at it. And then when I look at it for a few days, and often I think it's done, and I think it's all done. And then I look and I think, not done. And then I don't know what to do. And I think, oh, God, it's ruined. What am I going to do? So I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, a songwriter, so I, I feel that very deeply. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think it's part of the process, and I've learned it's part of the process. Yeah. So then I just calm myself, and I sit, and I look, and I, oh, that's what it means. And then finally, I think, done. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like that's uh, that's one of the keys that people don't realize about being a creative of something is there's a point in time where the tension between you and the piece Absolutely. are so high and you might need to step back. And sometimes you step back and you go, this is done. I don't need to work this anymore. And sometimes you step back and go, this needs one more thing, but I don't know what it is. Right. And yes. then it's despair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you have to put it in the corner and say, yeah. I can't think about you right now. I'm going to move on to something and then it'll, aha. Uh -huh. Right. So right. when a viewer looks at this, uh, what do you, I, I feel like a lot of times paintings are either a story or a conversation. They, they are an interactive experience with the viewer. When the viewer approaches this and is looking at it, what do you want them to see and take away from it? Oh, thank you. That's a very good question. And <laughs> what I would like, people to take away from them is joy and hope um, in the middle of everything that goes on in life. And, um, you know, it, it is greenery. It is kind of like waterfally. And um, so what happens in life? I guess they would like, I would like them to take away what happens in life. Yeah, life's a journey and it has a, a variety a of variety, textures and colors. A variety colors. of textures and, and colors. But we still keep going on. Yeah. So pretty heavy stuff. But anyway, that's... But also pretty, pretty light too because you're capturing something ephemeral yes that uh hopefully somebody can take with them hopefully hopefully yeah. hopefully so, yeah well i appreciate you uh talking with us and we're so glad to have elizabeth in our changeling show which will be running now through november 20th so i do hope you'll come and see the show i think it will be a very good show carolyn is very careful and um, i really like to work with him so i hope you'll come as well Thank you. That was very, that was very nice. I appreciate it. Yeah. So you're welcome. Perfect.